Hey, everybody. Hey. Welcome to the Little Lounge Podcast. Yes, you're seeing us for the second time. Two times you've seen us. Yes. Together. Yeah. Not separate. Yeah. Uh, we are here. It's our one year hot one year anniversary. It's a hot one year. Yeah. It's been a minute. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, folks for listening. And uh, those of you who are new, welcome. Yes. If this is your first episode, get ready for the greatness. Yeah. Welcome to the Blue Ribbon Lounge. Uh, I don't know if uh, any of you listeners have heard of Hot Ones. Dave, can you give them a rundown of Hot Ones? Um, It's from... First we feast, and it has this guy Sean Evans. Sean Evans, yeah, yeah. And they ask questions to famous people, and we wanted to pretend like we were going to be famous today. Uh, uh, famous in our own brains. Fuck yeah! Uh, I'm pretty. Quad City's famous. It. Have you been out and about doing anything? Um, I went mushroom hunting. Oh, yeah. I not... went on a mushroom trip as well. Oh, okay. A different kind, though. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> um, but I had a spot. But last week I tried to sneak out and get some mushrooms, but they weren't up yet. Okay. And this dude walking his dog saw me. And then just magically today when I went out to my spot, there's people all around it. Yeah, dude, beware of muggles, man. Beware of muggles. I know. They're just horrible. How about uh, you? I haven't done... I talked about Torque Fest, I think, on the last episode. Yeah. Midwest Monster Fest is coming up. That's... Uh, halfway to Halloween. Halfway to Halloween. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, other than that, just got kind of getting ready for the uh, one year podcast. Been pretty excited about that. Yeah, it's getting ready. To, as you can see, we have uh, these chicken wings. Yeah, chick, we'll, we'll chicken talk, nugs. We'll talk about them a little bit. So this was a Hot Ones frozen uh, bag uh, from Walmart. Only at Walmart can you get these. Oh, you can't get them online, or uh, I don't believe so. You might be able to, um, but. The only place you can pick them up in store was Walmart. Oh, Did okay. I say Walgreens. You said Walmart. Okay, good. It's That's, not Walgreens. No, not Walgreens. Okay, I don't think they have frozen stuff. And if they do, it's like super overpriced. Uh, it, DiGiorno. Ju- yeah, just pizza and ice cream. I would expect from Walgreens. Well, but, yes. But Walmart had this uh, these hot ones, chicken wings. So I grabbed a couple of bags, and uh, I thought it was a great idea to do for our one year episode. And yeah. We kind of agreed on it together. I right. Think. Yeah. Uh, do you have any favorite Hot Ones episodes, Dave? Um, I just watched a couple. I do like the um, what's his, uh, I'm drawing a blank, but I'll say uh, Bert Kreischer. Okay, that one's good. Um, the other guy that looks like a guy who should be on The Sopranos. Oh, uh, Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz. Yeah. I liked his because he was sweating. And he's like, like what? Yeah, and like blowing his nose. And, yeah, yeah, that would look like real. <laughs> yeah, because I've seen ones like. The one that turns me off the most is the Rachel Ray one. Okay. Because if you watch her, like, none of them are affecting her. Okay. And then she even does, like, the last dab and is like, ooh, nothing. Yeah. Uh, the one I really liked in in uh, reference to, like, people not being affected was Weird Al. Oh, yeah? Because he took, like, the... Like, I don't think he got much of any piece of chicken. Oh, he's like, just nibbling. Yeah, super nibbling. Uh Two of my favorites were the Tenacious D episode. Oh, I love Tenacious D. And the Dave Grohl episode. That one was good. That was, I think it was fantastic. That one I felt was more off the cuff because he brought uh, Jack. Yeah. And they were doing a black tooth grin. Yeah, from what, Slayer? No, that's oh, Pantera. Pantera, I'm sorry, Dave. Well, it's um, it's a lyric from a Megadeth song. Okay. Where he's like, and he smiled his black tooth grin. But pantera started doing shots called black tooth okay and then they would be like in the vulgar videos they do a lot of and he smiled his black tooth grin and like we're doing shots oh okay yeah uh yeah i i love that episode both of those episodes uh, and i'm super excited to do it now we don't have all of the same hot sauces but uh the pack comes with three official from the show. They're the, original sauces. These ones that you see in packets come with it. Yep. And then uh, I had a, I had one, and Dave brought over a ton of them. Uh, uh, yeah, I got this like starter pack, I guess, for Christmas, which was just like a variety pack of hot sauce. Yeah. And I've had two of them, and they've been pretty good. And I've been wanting to try these, but uh, my mom sent me like a huge bottle of Texas Pete for Christmas. Actually, two of them. Yeah. And so I've been trying to work through that before i you know open these yeah uh so i was super thankful he brought those over and uh like i said 
These are not all the same ones. And I was hoping to to get the bomb. Oh. That's the one that everybody talks about on the show. Yeah, well, I went to Kitchen yesterday and ended up getting this one and this one because okay. I was looking for the bomb because yeah. they had it because I got it one time and then took it to Christmas and like was challenging everybody <laughs> to eat it. Yeah. Uh, but this time they didn't have it. And I actually had to like look and they s- seem like they've been picked over. Yeah. Well, and uh, so with Hot Ones, the, the show on YouTube, check it out on YouTube. Um. They, it's an interview process where Sean Evans interviews the celebrity uh, and asks some questions. And I guess the concept is probably when you're eating these hot wings and sweating, goes straight to your brain. Uh, maybe you you can't give the best answers. You know, you give honest answers. Is right. It, it lowers like. your guard. You're, yeah. Because yeah. you're taking off uh, kilter, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Like taking off guard. Like, oh, he's asked me this question about this Instagram picture from 20 years ago. Right, right. Uh, and so we had uh, a bunch of listeners write in and ask us some questions. Yeah, um, I threw them in this bucket. Yeah. So before we get onto that, uh, a couple of thank yous. Yeah. Just to make sure we don't get too discombobulated and forget. Right. Uh, I want to thank Holly Parker, uh, Tim McGu- McGu- McGuire. McGuire. I can't read my own hand on it. I, I don't know Tim's last name very well. Uh, so Holly Parker is from a local burlesque troupe called Taboo Burlesque. I used to host it the first couple of shows. Fantastic group of women. Uh, and they such stage performers. I love going to watch right. their shows now. Is that um, when we did our fortune telling episode, you were talking about doing a smudging yeah. for a burlesque, burlesque show? Yeah. Was that where you did it at? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, and then Tim McGuire is... Uh, Man, I'm I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. No, it looks okay. right. It looks right. Uh, but Tim is uh, he started a company called Wild Cherry Spoon Company, and they make a lot of uh, kitchen utensils and things like that out of wood. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so I, so that's why it's cherry. It's like cherry wood yeah. spoons and stuff uh, like that. We have a cheese knife from them. Ooh, and I think fancy. we've had a couple of other things, but uh, having a you know, 13 year old and in the past younger, uh, a lot of things go through the blender or, you know, sit in water in the sink right. and get ruined. But, uh, but I, I've tried to take care of this, um, cheese knife as best right. I can. Is that the short blade with the round? Yeah. End? Yeah. Okay. And we use it all the time, not necessarily for cheese, but, uh, we use it all the time on a lot of stuff. And my sister-in-law, uh, Krisha, she, uh, tossed a couple questions in there as well. That's cool. Um, I guess I have to thank Felicia. She uh, gave me some questions. Okay. And Cam, as always, you know. Yeah. Seems like number one fan. We always say her name. Probably not number one. She's probably like the fourth. <laughs> but she's the one that's always like, hey, you you said that uh, 400 people di- died at Jonestown, but actually it was 10,000 or something. Oh, always uh, calling Always out. quick to correct. Oh, that's all right. We, we enjoy being corrected. We would... Uh rather be corrected than and be able to make the changes in the future or forget who cares. right or just try better next time to be like oh these people are actually googling yeah right um but thanks so much for submitting your questions apologies if we don't get through all of them uh and then as always thanks so much to the one night standards for letting us use the intro outro music yes and being here uh for our new year's eve episode oh, yeah uh, yeah the first episode of this year was fantastic right and um, i'm already conspiring to like see how i can butter up dave to get him to want to come back oh him yeah. and chicken boy and maybe we can get um the third one <laughs> scott scott yeah uh, it's, <laughs> yeah and now that i know that i will double team it oh double, te- double team those efforts <laughs> dave, <laughs> this is video dave you oh, I, oh okay so. yeah no they can see us <laughs> uh so, do you want to start with a wing or a question? Um, why don't you pull a question and then oh. bring that bull over and we'll stab it. And You want to talk a little bit about this while I grab a question? Sure. This is classic hot sauce. Heat with heart by the Heatonist. All natural ingredients, vegan and gluten-free. Just the right spice. Made in the U.S. And this is a hot one. This is the... The least hot one? Yes, the classic, yeah. The classic, okay. Um, all right, ready to go? Yeah. So, one of these numbers? Yeah. They're, a little, they're pretty juicy in here, so. Uh, okay, here we go, simple one. What was your first car? Oh, do you want to answer that? Yeah, uh, 
my first car I got when I could drive, uh, well, I used to drive my mom's Buick Sabre, but the first car I owned was a 1988 uh, Jeep Cherokee. Oh. And uh, I love that thing. It was a tank. What color? Black. Black. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. The square kind of looking yeah. Jeep Cherokee. Yeah. Uh, so it was black, fit all my friends, plus an extra room in the back for skateboards and stuff. And you go camping. Throw, yeah. Throw everything in the back. Yeah, we'd always camp behind buildings and stuff. Uh, or go out in the you know in parks and stuff and camp. Yeah. Uh, my first car, I always want to say that it's a 69 Ford LTD, but it might have been a 79. Although 69 sounds better. I know, right? But it was two-door, and it was huge. It was like a boat, like literally. like You would hit a pothole, and you would just kind of float. It wouldn't <laughs> be like, boom. You'd just be like, because the shocks were so good. Nice. But like to do the passenger side window it was the roll kind and oh. i literally had to like lay down to like roll it up <laughs> yeah and it was that big that's funny like, you lay I, down in the front seats was it bench seat all the way across yeah it was bench seat all Hell the way across yeah, yeah and then it got a hole like in the floorboard Ooh. yeah it was crazy it actually the first day that i got it and put the title in my name i was driving to leclerc to go uh, look for jobs at like uh sneaky pete's or happy joe's and I was going up this hill, and I lost power. And I'm like, crud. <laughs> and I pulled over, and there's all this white smoke. I'm like, oh, it overheated the radiators. And I opened up the hood, and all this black smoke came pouring out. And um, it just so happened these mid-American guys, like in one of those big like utility trucks, stopped. And the dude's like, get back. And they yanked their fire extinguisher off their truck and like sprayed my car out because it fucking caught on fire. <laughs> The, the first day, the you first had day I had it, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But it drove after that? Um, it had to be in the shop for two weeks because it was backfiring. Okay. And this was when you had a carburetor and that big, like, air filter on top that you could unscrew with, yeah. like, a wing nut. But it was dumping gas back into there. So then when it fired, it caught on fire. Oh. Yeah. So it was extra gas where it shouldn't have been. Okay. But they had to replace the distributor cap and, like, all the... Like plastic stuff, pretty much <laughs> melted. But it sucked too because it's my senior year, and I. So for two weeks, my senior year, I didn't have a car, so I had to keep bumming rides. Oh, lame. Yeah, so lame. Uh, that one wasn't too bad. No, I see you ate all of yours. Yeah, I'm hungry. I didn't eat for all day. I didn't eat all day either. I would try to eat a hundred percent of every one of these wings, and this is so sweet. Even yeah, maybe like a Tabasco. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. A classic hot sauce. Classic hot yeah, sauce. It yeah, it makes sense. All right. Do you need a, a palate cleanser? Uh, yeah, maybe just a little bit of water. Yeah, I'm, not... I'm actually a super wimp. I don't know how you are on hot stuff, Dave, but I'm actually pretty much a big wimp. Uh, I could do all right. Um, the other day I had nachos. Uh, chicken nachos, and I put like extra jalapenos on it, and I was able to eat those. Yeah, but I was kind of like, I wish I would have grabbed a bottle of water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would never eat jalapenos or anything spicy like that. I was like a peanut butter and jelly spaghetti kind of guy. Yeah, and then I met my wife, who loves everything so seasoned that like you don't even it doesn't even matter what the base material is. <laughs> it's just the taste the seasoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um. I don't know if this is appropriate, but um, my old lady, she likes the extra season stuff because she doesn't want to be a typical quote unquote white girl okay. and just use salt and pepper and be like, Ooh, this is great chicken. Yeah. So she has to be like, Oh, paprika, some garlic, like spice it up, jazz yeah. it up. That's all right. Yeah. And do, well, do you like that? I do like it. And it's always good. It's delicious. There you go. Yeah. That's all that matters. That's what I think too. All right. You want to grab a question out of there? Uh, you want to tell us what this is? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is East Asia teriyaki hot sauce. Uh, a Dad'll Do It brand specialty. D-A-T apostrophe L. Dad'll Do It. Dad'll Do It. Oh, so maybe it was just you just needed a dab? <laughs> Hope not. But teriyaki is like salty, like, um, like soy, soy sauce. sauce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this has got vinegar, aged red peppers... Uh, soy protein, salt, high fructose corn syrup, all the blah, blah, blah. And hey, what's the name of it? East Asia. Okay. Um, some of these, uh, like these are all kind of the same bottle. Yeah. The ones that came in the 
multi-pack. I think even if you liked one and you tried to just buy a bottle of it, you can't because it's just they just come in the multi-pack. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. I apologize, Dave, and lucky for you folks, you don't have smell of vision because I might I might start sweating like crazy. Oh no. Alright. Oh, uh, this one's a little bit morbid. What would you do if you found a dead body in your hotel room? Um what? Fork. Oh, did I eat yours? No, you my fork's over oh. there. <laughs> <laughs> did you eat my fork? No, sir. Uh if I found a dead body, I mean, I'd like to say I'd just get rid of it and ask no questions, but I'm I'm probably more of a wimp than that, and I would just call the police, right? Yeah, but would you change rooms or get a different hotel altogether? Oh, man, I don't know. It depends on what the crime scene looked like. Is it bloody and like is this is this obviously seeing a dead body is going to scar you a little bit? But is this the kind of thing that changes my life forever? Mm, well, what if it's like um. Just a dead hooker lay in the bed with like the sheets over her, so you don't even know. Like maybe you just think somebody forgot their luggage and you pull it back. Dead body. Well, I was thinking more like, um, what's that? Uh, Thirteen rooms that Quentin Tarantino wrote. Okay, yeah. And it's got all the different rooms. The one room has the kids, mm -hmm. and they end up like burning the mattress or pulling it off. And in the box spring is a dead hooker. I do remember that. So what if like you slept and then what I usually do because I'm an anarchist, is I'll tear all the sheets off the bed and throw them like, in the bathtub just to make sure that the next people, they're going to get clean sheets. I doubt <laughs> the people are going to be like, oh, let's put these back on. They're just going to go get the folded up ones. Yeah. But say you're pulling the sheets off and maybe like tossing the bed to be a rock star, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, dead prostitute. Dead, ho dead hooker. Dead hooker. I would probably, yeah, have to call, but then would you be scarred? Would you have to look under every... I think hotel mattress, to, Dave. I think you would have to look under every mattress after that. Yeah, I wonder if maybe you just go straight. Um, I I think in that situation, uh, a dead hooker in my bed, I would have to get another hotel room. Obviously, they don't have the security set up right that I require to keep people out of my room. I, well, if somebody got a hooker and then put them, but then they obviously don't clean enough. Yeah, to not find a dead hooker. Yeah, come on, man, flip your mattresses every once in a right, while. Right, like something. <laughs> I think after that, I'd probably just go straight uh, Airbnb. Yeah. Be ne like, never a hotel again. Yes. Uh, Motel 8 is out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or is that Motel 6? There, there's two of them. Which one keeps the light on for you? I'm not sure. Oh, uh, with Tom Bodet? Like, I'm Tom Bodet for Motel, Motel 6. Motel 6 And we'll keep right. the light on for I you. I feel like, well, Motel 8 is a thing, but maybe I don't see as many commercials for that. I know there's a motel. I think Motel 6 is more like maybe they died out because they were like the roadside real quick. You're driving. I, I need to stop. I need to get four hours of sleep. So I yeah, get back on the road. 75 bucks later. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Okay. You done? You want to... No, I'm good. Would you like to remove your I fork I would this remove time? my fork. Here, I'll just. But I guess that one is a little salty. Yeah. And it was definitely just a little bit spicier. Mm-hmm. Not bad. It's got a darker color. And this one is sweet and spicy sauce. Trinidad Spice Company. Trinidad. Okay, so the what little I know about peppers. Shout out to Zach Nicky for teaching me a little bit about peppers. My brother grows uh, hot peppers all the time. And uh, he got these peppers called Trinidad Scorpion Peppers. Ooh. They're supposed to be the second hottest natural pepper in the world. So, like, hotter than ghost pepper, but not as hot as, like, a lot of these man-made ones. Like the Carolina Reaper? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think Carolina Reaper, I think, is like a cross-pollination by man type deal. Oh, okay. That makes sense, because that's super hot. Yeah. And it's, a, like, a little stubby guy. Yeah. So, the uh, scorpion pepper, it, like, grows out like a regular pepper and then it sinks in to look kind of like a scorpion tail oh does it like curl uh no it just kind of like sinks in to where it has like a, a really sharp point. oh okay i gotcha like the just the poison part yeah and this says together we aspire together we achieve yeah and it looks like it's uh, a lot of fructose corn syrup <laughs> aged We're red taking in a lot of that yeah kanye habanero salt and uh, yeah 
So habanero and cayenne. Cayenne. Not Kanye. 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 Cayenne West. Cayenne West. Uh, have you ever driven a car through a cornfield? Have you? Yes, definitely. Oh, you have? Awesome. How'd that, in- how'd that happen? Um, so I was working on second shift uh, out in Geneseo, which is 30 minutes or so away. Okay. And I was driving home. And uh, I had fallen asleep Mm. at the wheel, (laughs) and uh, I just kind of woke up in a cornfield. Oh, okay. And uh, like do 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 do. Well, okay. On the road in a cornfield. I no, I was on. I was on the road. I had fallen asleep. Woke up in the cornfield. Yeah. And then backed up and drove out. Just pretty much scared. Oh, okay. And uh, shut my face really quick. (laughs) <laughs> that one wasn't too hot no it was more sweet mm-hmm. um so i woke up got back to my apartment i was living with a couple of people my buddy was like dude where's your license plate oh no and so i went back and uh went back to where my car went through so as i was pulling out of this cornfield i had gone uh, threw two big trees oh, right between them. Yeah, threaded the needle, went into this really thin, rickety fence. Uh, it was a gate, so it just laid right down. Yeah, and uh, I went back over there, found my license plate, and took off. Yeah, <laughs> and then was the wiser. <laughs> That's cool. Um, there's a hill in Pleasant Valley, coming from like a residential type area. Okay, and so it's kind of like one lane, uh, but it's paved. But you can go down it. And then there's this little hump, and then it goes down again. So as a teenager, me and my friends, you know, just cruising around, we would always kind of not put the brakes on and just be like, (laughs) yeah, because it was like a roller coaster. And uh, me and my sister were driving around and just, uh, I don't know, cruising around, just, you know, wasting time as teenagers do. Yeah. Even though she was a little bit older, so I was a little bit trying to impress her. (laughs) And I'm like, oh, we're going to go on this hill. So I gunned it to try to get some air. And I went, and I swear my front tires came off. But when I landed, we were faced, like, to a telephone pole. (laughs) And I was like, oh, and I whipped the car. And then we took out, like, four rows of corn. like, (laughs) And I was like, whoa, and I I just kept going. (laughs) But then I looked in my rearview mirror, and there's corn stalks stuck in my rear bumper. <laughs> and so we had to stop and pull them out, and, like, I had scraped the side of my car up. Oh, no. But it was all right, because later my mom's like, oh, what's these scratches on your car? And I'm like, oh, I went to one of those um, brush uh, car washes, and it must have scraped my car, because, you know, back in the day, they'd be like, thwomp, thwomp, thwomp. Yeah. It wouldn't just be the touchless one. Damn, blame it on some honest workers. I, well, I mean, it was just automatic, but it was still like chamois rags slapping your car. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I guess, to be fair, mine was after corn season or whatever, uh, so when I went through it, there was no corn. Oh, no, I took out, like, rows yeah. of corn. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's get to the next one. You keep still my fork. Oh. Uh, you have pockets. Keep it in your pocket. Oh, okay. I uh, story of my life. Ink and heat. Garlic hot sauce. Peruvian imports. Um. Red cayenne and uh, habanero peppers. Oh, so it's kind of the same. Yeah, pretty much. It does smell garlicky though. It did when we were tossing this one. I remember it smelling pretty good. I grab a question out of there. Oh yeah, let me go for a handwritten one. All right, what's your favorite bird? What's your favorite bird? A crow. Done. Damn. Oh, what shit. are you getting? <laughs> Hot sauce all over it. <laughs> I was done with that question. Um, probably the blue-footed booby. Blue-footed bird. <laughs> Is that one extinct? No. You're thinking of the dodo bird, right? I guess also, so. kiwis are pretty cool. Kiwis are cool. I just like crows because they're the only bird that stay around in the winter time. Oh, really? So, like living out in the country, especially around cornfields, there'd always be crows. Okay. And, um, they're scavengers. 
I assumed you liked it just because of the movie. Well, that too. <laughs> but they're also like super intelligent. Yeah. Like supposedly they can sing, but you'll never hear them because they only do it in private. Oh, very shy. Yeah. And then I heard also old wives tell if you split their tongue, they can actually talk like a parrot. Oh, that's crazy weird. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say blue-footed booby just because of the name. Blue-footed booby. But also there's a lot of cool-looking birds out there. <laughs> I think birds are probably some of the cooler creatures. Yeah, I'm not super cool with them. Yeah. Like, to go to the... Do you have a traumatic experience? Or... No, I just hate birds. Okay. Like, to go to the zoo and have that little thing of nectar oh. and they all, like, fly and land on you? I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not. Yeah, because bir- I feel like birds don't have control. Yeah. And if they have... They're just like... Then they just drop lo- poops on you. <laughs> well, yeah, they definitely don't care about that at and all. And I feel like they're kind of like bats. Like, they'll get stuck in your hair. Not that I have a lot. But <laughs> I, I used to always fear, like, getting tangled or, like, grabbing your hair, and then their talons get stuck, and you got a bird <laughs> stuck in your hair. Like, red-winged blackbirds. Do the chickens have large talons? Ugh. <laughs> well, Napoleon Dynamite. Fight. Yeah, I think if I raised a chicken from scratch, like egg to chicken, yeah. I could probably handle it. But just walking up to a random chicken and grabbing it, I'm not a big fan. Yeah, I've had like a, a parrot on my shoulder and stuff like that. Yeah, And those things are huge, man. They're big and kind of heavy for when you're a little kid. It was probably when I was like 12. Okay. Uh, but when, at that point, it was bigger than my head, you know? Right. Like it's kind of intimidating. It is very intimidating. Especially, they could just like... Cut through your ear. Oh, for sure. They cut through, like, nuts and stuff all the time. Yeah. If I'd... they wanted to grab your nose. Like, yeah. Yeah. Go on. Exactly. All right. Next question. All right. Is this the... Oh, okay. Jalapeno. This one I was kind of looking forward to because it's green. Yeah. And this is Yucatan authentic brand hot sauce jalapeno. And this one has jalapeno peppers. That's the first thing. And then That's water. Nice. All the other ones have been, like, vinegar. Yeah, and this one's just jalapeno pepper, water, and then, like, some preservatives. And blue number one. Blue number one to make it green? It was guess. yellow, maybe? Maybe. It does kind of, like, look very yellow in the bowl here. Uh, a weird food combination that you like but grosses others out. Yeah. Uh, I, got, I got a couple of those. You got a couple? Yeah. I have one that always makes me feel kind of like Elvis. Yeah, what's that? Uh, peanut butter, mm-hmm. banana, mm-hmm. mayo. Whoa! Slap it together, because the mayo on bread? on bread, yeah. So like, okay. it works better on white bread, just because of the mouthfeel and how creamy the mayonnaise is, with the contrast to like the peanut butter and the banana, and mm-hmm. it's got like a zing. Like you use like Miracle Whip. Okay. Like Hellman's isn't so great, but like Miracle Whip works okay. really good. Miracle Whip is uh. A lot sug- more sugary, uh-huh. right? So I can see why why that would work more. <laughs> None of these have really been that hot. Well, we're working up to it. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're almost at the halfway point. Mm-hmm. Uh, so two things. You ever seen the show Doug, Doug on Nickelodeon? Yeah. Uh, so he has a point <laughs> where he eats, he dips a banana in SpaghettiOs. Ooh. And I, you better believe that I was young enough to try that. Was it good? It was not bad at all. It was actually kind of good. Hmm. Um, I don't do that one very often, but I just remember that very vividly, having done that. Uh, well, I, I could see dipping, but like, would you slice it up and put it in there? I could see doing that, but well, he dipped it, so I felt like I had to dip it. Oh, okay, and I only did it like the one time, maybe twice. And the other thing is pineapple on pizza. Oh well, that's I mean, not bad. You hit that big like. <laughs> Uh, I get upset when people don't like pineapple on pizza because I think it's that good. You get that cold, sweet kind of spot. Yeah. Yeah. I used to have a big problem where I would order too much stuff on a pizza, and you try to pick it up, and it falls apart. It all falls off, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, even like the crust underneath soaks through in a lot of these uh, Quad City-style pizzas. Yeah, that's why I really... Um... I'm a meat person, but I don't like meat lovers because yeah. I feel like it's just too much. Too much. And you if they enjoy the pizza. And if they... You put the toppings on top of the cheese, and they get kind of crispy. So I just not a big fan of that. Yeah, um, and then so so I used to put too much stuff on there. So now I just pineapple and black olives. My wife's a vegetarian, Ooh. so I 
don't order meat for her usually. Uh, sometimes I'll order like a half and half, but pineapple and black olives to me is like the best pizza. Uh, I can see pineapple and chicken. Oh, because okay, yeah, I can do chicken and um, uh, the banana peppers mm. because that's kind of got the same kind of crunch yeah. that um, pineapple does, but yeah. it just doesn't have the sweet. Yeah, I really just recently learned how to like banana peppers. Yeah. So I'm like, I learned how to like banana peppers, and so now I order them on like my hobo sandwiches. Yeah, like pepperoncinos are good yeah. too. Yeah. And then uh, now I'm working on dill pickles. And at the end, of, at the very bottom of the list is tomatoes. Dill pickles. Yeah. This might be one. Um, I was at High V, and they had just straight up oh, um, pickle pickle back. Pickle back. Like a pickle chaser. Oh, So okay. it was just pickled juice with no pickles in it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like the brine or whatever? Yeah. Have you ever heard of a uh, Brooklyn hooker? That's exactly kind of <laughs> well, the idea. Yeah. Well, not like, because that's whiskey. But if anything, it doesn't even have to be liquor, but anything that's like you don't really like, mm-hmm. you can like chase eat it, it and juice. then chase it with pickle juice and it just wipes Clears out the all the flavor. That's like uh, at Abernathy's, fabulous Abernathy's in downtown Davenport. Uh www.shopabernathys.com. Yeah, it's for all your Blue Ribbon Lounge uh, stickers. Yeah. Not one like this. But... Yeah, do you like this, Dave? Yeah, I like it's this. It's like kind of shitty, like, hanging Well, I know. It looks good. It's kind of like what I've seen slapped around the Quad Cities. Yeah. Uh, we've been posting pictures in our Facebook group yeah. of uh, posting stickers and and kind of lead-ups and follow-ups with the podcast episodes. That's a Facebook group. You can find it on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, just... Search uh, the Blue Ribbon Lounge podcast. Yeah, and so at uh, Fabulous Abernathy's in Davenport, you can get all your stickers and stuff like that. Yes, you can. Yeah. Oh, well, let's have to do about a pickle back. Like a. Oh. Because the stickers are a pla- palate cleanser. Oh, yeah. At Abernathy's, they have, they have uh, candles as well. And I just learned this from my wife owning the store. But if you're like smelling candles or perfumes, yeah. sniff some. Coffee. Oh, coffee beans. I've yeah. seen that before, like at candle places or perfume places. Yeah, if you if you smell the coffee, it cleanses your senses. It, um, sulfur does that too. Oh, okay. Like if, if you light a match. Yeah. yeah, I love the smell of matches. Like sometimes, even if I don't take a deuce in the bathroom, I'll just kind of light a match. Just light a match yeah. anyway. And it'll yeah. need a little bit of fire too. Well, it's like a caveman thing. Yeah, but it's like uh, you have a really nice smelling candle and you blow it out, mm. and then you just smell that burnt wick yeah kind of thing but that one i actually like that jalapeno one i did like it too i liked how green it tasted yeah and it has it does have a little kick my yeah. mouth's starting to get a little hot yeah and you know what i think maybe uh i've never tossed wings before yeah if i get wings it's at buffalo wild wings right or like pre-seasoned wings i think i should have used a lot more sauce in a lot of these oh like kind of drawn them a little bit yeah okay um, so this one is the other hot ones uh los calientes uh Hot sauce is medium heat <clears throat> by the heat heatonist. Uh, they must have paired with them, um, but they do the, they do this one and the first and the last one on the show itself. So I'm excited to try this one as well. Yeah, and that's one that you could probably find online if you're like interested in it. Yeah, I think you can find like all their their hot sauces online. Yeah, probably through their a website or something. Yeah, if you could tell everyone in the world simultaneously one thing what would it be like i guess if you could you're gonna be like and then you say and then everybody in the world it's gonna reverberate in their ears oh that's spicy uh that's a spicy question i'd say something along the lines of like leave everybody else alone pay attention to your own stuff leave everyone alone leave everybody alone that one's a hot one hmm it's got like a salsa kind of thing there. It really does. The the Los Calientos uh, name, kind of like Hispanic, mm-hmm. Spanish sounding, but... Ooh, that's... Mm-hmm. Well, we're starting to get into the danger zone here. Yeah. Mm. Maybe... I don't know. We're all one. Okay. Or like you... Yeah. Love thy neighbor as yourself. Like... Mm. Treat people how you want to be treated, and yeah. then they're going to treat you the same way. 
Ooh, I'm going to need some milk with that one. Yeah, me too. Got these beautiful Pabst Blue Ribbon glasses we're drinking some uh, milk out of. Yeah. Or maybe like... Percent, Dave? Uh, no, it was whole. Whole milk. Ooh. Yeah, it's got, you you're need getting that it all today. Well, you got to get them capsaicins off your tongue. Ooh. Or maybe like there was a Bill Burr thing where he said like if everybody in the military quit, then rich people would have to settle their beefs somewhere somehow else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I would assume that includes like uh, the police and stuff. Um, if the police wanted to quit, but then. I feel like you need some level of like authority, I guess. But because like everybody always needs a more adult adult. Yeah. And sometimes if somebody is trying to like bust into your house, you might want to call somebody who can handle it and not get in trouble for handling it. Well, if nobody is in charge, then nobody will get you in trouble for it. Yeah. But I mean, you still have to like take care of it. And then <laughs> bury them yeah, or it's something. it's called a gun, Dave. If yeah. I have a gun, I have all the authority. Yeah, but then it would just be, what if he has a bigger gun? And they just want to come in and take your shit. And they're like, look at this podcasting setup. We want it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Well, and to me, you know, like, not to get too into stuff, but I guess this is, this is my gosh darn lounge. Yeah, right? This but, is the spicy or the yeah, hot one. This is a safe place. It's for hot takes. This is a safe place. You can say whatever you want, and people need to understand and listen, but uh, also take criticism. Uh, yeah, to me, uh, most of my possessions are not worth somebody dying over. I know? feel that way, too. I always think, like, someone breaks into our house, worst case scenario, they're going to look around and be like, um, <laughs> What's all this trash? Or, well, like, our how we're set up, our first floor is just, like, pretty much like a library. So they would just bust in and be like, I mean, these people just have books. What am I going to do with books? Like, and plants. They got plants and books. Like, yeah. They would just probably be like, uh, let's just get out of here. And then you open up all those book cabinets and all your it's all your diamonds and gold. Yeah, it's because I'm all part your, dragon. All your jewels. Yeah, all your bobbles. <laughs> yeah, my hordes. <laughs> my bobbles. I got, like, Funko Pops all over. <laughs> hey, those can be kind of expensive. Uh, I guess so. I saw a Zoidberg one. That I wanted to get. Yeah. It was like $35. I'm not going to pay $35 oh, no. for a toy. No, especially something that's like a, a beanie baby. Yeah, essentially, yeah. Because they're cool should, now. We should have learned our lesson. Yeah, they're cool now, but in 10 years, they're going to be like, uh, it's oversaturated. Yeah. 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 All right, next. Next is the Elixir. Limited edition Hellfire. Sweet and hot. This is a very special limited edition hot sauce. Sweet exotic spices. Spiced Caribbean rum. Ooh. It looks like Slash or something on the cover or The Undertaker. Yeah, I think The Undertaker. Try, show it up to the phone there. Like this one? The camera. Or that one? Yeah. All right. And this has really small ingredients, but a lot of them. Uh, so the question is, favorite outdoor activity to do in the QC? That's a good one. Well, like, if I was going to be lame, I'd say, like, going for a walk. <laughs> Just walk around even, like, downtown or, like, go into, uh, like, Blackhawk State Park or Scott County Park or uh, Wild Gas Den. Uh, I'd, I'd, do this, I'd say the same thing. I like to ride my electric bike to work. Yeah. And, dude, being, being up at 5 a.m., and riding your bike along the river as the sun's coming up is beautiful. I, I, as gross as the, I think the river is, I think it's beautiful and a great place to live. I always take offense. I'm like, that's an awesome river. Like, if you were to go back in time to, like, Huckleberry Finn and Mark Twain time and be like, that's a gross river, they'd be like, what? Well, it's different Let's, let's go build a raft and go on a ferry boat and go catfishing. That one was hot. Mm-hmm. What was that one called? That was the the elixir. The elixir. The hellfire elixir. Oh, who I'm burning up. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and I didn't realize it, but so up in like Bellevue, okay, they did a lot of uh, fishing for whew, 
clams, <laughs> hot. yeah, and stuff, mussels or whatever, shells, and they'd use those shells to make buttons. Yeah. Well, and that literally made the river dirty because all the all the clams clams would clean it out. Yeah, and you can still see those like on the shores, just the shells. Yeah, and sometimes you can see where they punched out buttons. Yeah, it's weird. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've I I call it a dirty river, and I think that, but only it's only because I think people have really ruined it. Yeah, but I mean, people still go boating and like jet skiing. And, and I've been, I've been in the river too, but yeah, I don't mind it. It's just not a place that I would love to spend a ton of time. Uh, I don't on, mind it. On it, around it, yes, but inside of it, not a huge fan. Okay. I would say a second would probably be like frisbee golfing, maybe. That's a good one. Um, yeah, because there's like, lots of good places to go in the Quad Cities. Yeah, I was uh, speaking of mushroom hunting. <clears throat> Everybody was talking about it a couple of days ago, and I actually went down to Prospect Park and mushroom hunted. Oh, you just ruined it. Yeah. You're, not, you're not supposed to tell your spot. I didn't find anything. Okay. It, I, Prospect Park is just the closest wooded area to me. Okay. And I was walking around, didn't find any mushrooms, but I saw four deer. I love that kind of stuff. That's cool. I do like deer. Even, even dirty ass trash raccoons. You right. Know. We, we always see them running in and out of the sewers when you got the big hole on the curb. Yeah. They slide in and out of there like Ninja Turtles. But, <laughs> yeah, that's but, awesome. Uh, I love seeing that Ooh, kind of stuff. That one's hot. That one was hot. And it's got three more. A <laughs> little bit more milk. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. You want to answer a question? You want to you... pass the wings? Oh, okay. Come on, Dave. Let's keep getting it. All right. All right. Maybe we'll answer this one before we eat. Oh, okay. Uh, the worst injury you have gotten. Worst injury I've gotten. <clears throat> Never broken anything. Um... But, and I, I've cut myself pretty good a few times. I think the worst injury I ever got is I, my retaining wall in my backyard had fallen over, and I rebuilt it all myself. Yeah, I blew my back out so bad I was off of work for a week. Oh, yeah, okay. and and it's one of those that like, if I'm out doing it too much activity, then it starts to act up pretty good. I'm getting the burps from these. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the hiccups. Um, yeah, I've never broken a bone or had like a huge trauma kind of energy yeah. injury, but, um, the ceiling in my basement is lower. Okay. And then there's a part where it like bumps down where like, um, there's like a, like a heating vent or yeah, something, yeah. but it's like boxed in and I was being, I was fucking listening to music, like getting all hyped up. And I came around my couch and I jumped over the footstool <laughs> and I forgot how low my ceiling was and how this thing stuck down and I hit my head. Like boom, smashed it. There's a line on my head. <laughs> oh, I can see it. And I actually like peeled my wig back a little bit. <laughs> oh and no. I had to like squeeze it back and I was gushing blood. <laughs> and like I was fine. I was like rinsing it off and like had a towel on it. But then my old lady comes home and she's telling me all about her day and I'll be like, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm like, I'm gonna Blood put this soaking down. Well, no, it was all right, but I had my I kept like having my hand on my head and then wiping the blood off. And then I'm like, I'm gonna put this towel on my head. And she's like, Why? And I'm like, and I showed her and she's like <gasps> and wanted to like go to the emergency room and like started freaking out. I'm like, I'm fine. Like, but yeah, I got a scar now. And like I actually did feel like I had to like kind of squeeze it kind of back together a little bit. All right, you keep talking. Yeah, and I'm gonna eat this wing, and then I got a story, a couple more stories to share while you're eating. All right. Well, that was like uh, pretty much the biggest one. I mean, I have scars on my hands from just like punching random things. Uh, oh, you didn't hand me the thing. Oh, so you talk about it? Yeah. So this is mule sauce. It says four out of five heat intensity, but it's not really that bad. Mm. So uh, I got this mule sauce. A lot of the stickers we get are for merch are from Sticker Mule. And if you order over $100 worth, they'll send you one of these. Oh. Um, but it's not too bad, the flavor itself. The flavor's good, yeah. It actually kind of had a, like, a nice cooling effect yeah. over that last one. Yeah. Um, so I talked about blowing my back out. So I got two more stories. I was coming home from Chicken Boy's wedding. 
Oh, yeah? Right? It was right at the street at Rascals. And I had a couple of cocktails in me. And it had just rained, which was really the problem. And I was zipping along on my electric bike. And uh, I cut a corner on the sidewalk yeah. through the grass, which was my problem. It was Ooh, wet grass. Yeah. And my bike went right out from under me, fell, fell down, hurt my shoulder, broke the bike. Mm. <laughs> uh, I think I got a concussion because I walked at home. Tried to lay down and I got up and I just felt really sick. Oh, uh, that, yeah, that's usually a concussion. Like, yeah. you want to throw up. Yeah. Uh, and then the other one is. Dang, I forgot that one now. Well, oh, uh, I can't remember. That I had one. one. Uh, actually, when I was a kid, uh, my sister's probably going to hate me for telling this story. <laughs> but I think she listens. Right. And my grandma was teaching her how to make tea. And, like, she was old enough where she could boil water herself and then, like, carefully take it over to the table and pour it to make tea. But I was four years younger and was running behind her right when she turned around with the teapot. Oh. Yeah, and splashed me all down my side. And I had, like, a mark like a for, like, a while. Yeah. I had to, like, grow out of it. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, getting burned sucks. Yeah, that sucked because my uncle was, like, sleeping in the back room. And he said when I screamed, he, like... Like, flew out of bed and like put his what? hands yeah up exactly <laughs> like what's going on <laughs> <laughs> oh my other story um so me and this uh, the me and a really close friend of mine were drinking right yeah and uh hold my beer <laughs> <laughs> well a bunch of weird shit kind of happened some weird people came over to his house and and uh one thing led to another and i was like Dude, we got fuck those guys. You can call me a pussy. You can hit me later or whatever. And we were drinking a lot of whiskey. Oh, okay. And uh, then, so later came around, and he hits me twice in the nose. Oh. And uh, first of all, I can take a fucking punch, let me tell you. Like a man. Yeah. But uh, my nose started bleeding pretty good. And, like, I didn't go to the doctor or anything. I was like, it'll clog up. All right. And it never did. Oh, and uh, I ended up, like, swallowing a lot of blood, and I was down here in the bathroom one day, and my wife was nagging at me to go get it taken care of, and I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. Well, I'm in the bathroom, and my nose is bleeding, and I start puking up blood. Oh. Like, a lot. Like, you've been swallowing a bunch of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It, it was going down the back of my throat. Yeah. We go to the doctor's, and they stick one of those tampons in my nose. Oh. Yep. And then uh, I'm like, cool, let's get out of here. We go out to the car. It starts coming out the other side. Oh, yeah. And uh, so we go back in. They put another one in there. Well, and then I start getting, like, really lightheaded. Yeah. And they, like, bring in a big bag of blood on ice. They're like, we might have to give this guy a blood transfusion. Ooh. My wife was telling me. I was sitting there. They were talking about airlifting me to Iowa City. Oh, geez. And uh, I'm sitting there. And the everybody's, like, kind of keeping an eye on me and i have like a puke bag it was like a ring you know the size of a fist but it was long oh, okay like uh like you have it on an airplane kind of yeah kind of yeah and uh i was holding on to it and the uh, nurse was like how are you feeling and i'm like i don't feel too bad but like a little sick and i'd like projectile vomited oh, my, my no. wife told me i puked all over her face and stuff ah! <laughs> and, <laughs> and so uh everybody starts like collapsing on me to make sure that i'm okay yeah my wife said i was puking up like a bunch of it looked like guts yeah but it was like uh just coagulated blood okay i ended up getting ambulanced to the uh to iowa city okay the ambulance drivers played rain and blood <laughs> on the way there uh and then i slept uh and yeah a couple years later my kid gets hit in the eye with a baseball oh yeah he has to get ambulance stuff to Iowa City. Same room we were in. Damn. Yeah, it was crazy. That is crazy. That's some synchronicity. Yeah, so, so check out the synchronicity episode. Yeah. That is some synchronicity. Uh, my kid broke her finger playing softball mm -hmm. because she was a catcher, but she'd, like, cup it. Yeah. But then one time the ball hit straight on her finger. Ooh. Yeah, and she was like, ah, and, like, started crying. I'm like, are you okay? I'm like, can you bend it? She's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. Do you need to do you mean call the way ambulance? Like, <laughs> Dog and hotter. Yeah, and then it turned out like the next day it swolled up and she she actually <laughs> broke her finger. And I was like, oh, and I was like 
<laughs> calling her a bitch pretty much <laughs> like oh you're crying you need a way ambulance <laughs> but she went out and like played um like left field okay. and like like act- finish the game yeah she finished the game fucking trooper dog. yeah your kid's cool she is pretty cool she's yeah. tough are you ready for this next one yeah i'll grab a i'll grab another hammer in one Uh, this one is the heat that stings scorpion pepper hot sauce, Dave's gourmet. And it says it's insane plus insane plus more than insane. So it's scorpion pepper, water, salt, and some preservatives. And I believe there's two types of scorpion pepper. Uh, like I was telling you, my brother had grown some. Oh shit. This says, uh, use this product one drop at a time. Keep <laughs> away from eyes, pets, children, not for people with heart, respiratory problems, shake well, and refrigerate after opening. These things are like... Douse. Oh, that's more than a drop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave. Okay. How about you eat your wing? Or, or do you want me to go first? Oh, no, that's fine. Right. I'm going to cut it in half. Okay, though. yeah, that's fine. Uh, what can you do drunk better than you can do sober? Dance. Dance? You probably would never dance sober. No, unless it's like the chicken dance. Yeah. Chicken dance. Can you electric slide? I can't. You cannot? No. Oh my gosh. That's my mom and my sister do know how to do it, and I've seen them do it a bunch. Like my mom and my sisters, but I've never like jumped in and been like, oh. Too much. Too hot? I like scooped up a bunch there too. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have done that. that. Yeah, there's like flakes Mm -hmm. you don't want to bite into. It's thick. Uh, I can play any bar, almost any bar game better drunk than so darts pool darts pool. Yep. Yeah. I'm like actually a pretty good dart player when I'm drunk. I was think yeah, there's like, um, there's like a peak and then it falls off. So like two, three, <laughs> and then you're playing all right. But then if you're like, Oh, let's go do shots. Then it kind of falls off and you're like, uh, it's Uber time. Yeah. It is Uber time on that chicken. Hmm. That's why I only went half, man. You're smarter than I, Dave. It's still pretty hot, though. I said it's one. It's hot. <laughs> it should have been like a dab. Oh, well, I think the the key is not to inhale, like <coughs> breathe too heavy. Yeah, because it like sucks all that in there. Are you gonna be okay? No, I'll never be the same. <laughs> there is a bucket here if you need it. Yeah. Right, here, let's have a palate cleanser before we do this next one. Uh, have you heard about the Bloody Angel and the Moline Cemetery? Is it the same as the Black Angel? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be the Black Angel. I've heard of it. I don't know too much about it, though. I heard it's supposed to be like if you go there at night, it's black or something. What do you got, Dave? Well, I heard, like, it's uh, one of those things, like, uh, you would do as a teenager. Like, you're hanging around, driving around, and you're like, let's go to the cemetery and see the, like, a lot of times. the black angel. And I don't know if it's like a Doctor Who kind of angel, where if you turn your back on it, it moves. But I've also heard that it's also, like, uh, it chases you, but... Or... <coughs> People go there to look for it, and it's not there. But it turns out it got moved because it was on um, William Deere's uh, grave. Okay, like one of the John Deere guys, Billy Deere. Yeah, is he cousins to the guy <sighs> who uh, started all that D and D satanic panic? <laughs> he might have been, but they moved it to a um, like a spa in New Mexico. What? Yeah, to be like in like a garden with like a water fountain. And I'd stuff. assume the Deer family moved it. Yeah, a uh, Hewitt Hewitt family. I don't know they're connected somehow, but yeah, probably Deer probably had a bunch of girls or something as a mm-hmm. marriage name. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's what I feel like. But I don't know anything about it. I think it's kind of like that one. There's also a um, stairs in Moline somewhere, or if you count them walking up, there's like thirteen. But if you count them when you're walking down, there's only 12. I think it's a <coughs> optical illusion type thing. Like, where do you start a stair? 
Is step it the, up? The first step up, or do you start it when you are standing two feet on the bottom? Yeah, do you count the last bit? Uh, All right. Yeah. <laughs> that one was sting. Oh, yeah. Oh. It was a great design. It was, uh, was designed by a guy. Oh. Blue Ribbon Lounge design was designed by a guy named Metro, who does Apollo designs. Mm. Apollo design uh, company. I don't know. It's just Apollo <laughs> design. Yeah, did uh, a really good job with that. I like. I like it. Well, that's kind of like a segue into this one, which is called Apollo, oh. which is the last dab. Um, oh. with Apollo pepper. Never heard of it. It says extreme heat, but it doesn't say just do a dab at a time. So <laughs> that's maybe, good. maybe this one will be nicer. I got you. You want a new napkin at all? I got. I'm all right. I don't want to put that anywhere near my face anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oof. All right. Hand me that thing. I'm gonna do a last dab, Dave. Oh, you're gonna do a last dab. I'm, I'm going to. You're, you're more going, than welcome. You're not going to. for it. All right. On, on hot ones they do the last dab where you just put a little bit extra on the wing. So I gotta do that because I'm not a bitch. All right, no, but, it, but also if you don't do it, you're not a bitch. That's that's sexist or something like that. That's that's not PC anymore. Right, you're not a dog. Ooh, that's, that's more a than a dot dab. <laughs> I'm gonna dab some of it off now. Dab some of that off. Yeah, that's why I think I'm gonna go for a smudge. <laughs> Still got some on there. All right, cheers, Dave. Think it. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So vinegary. Yeah. Perfect segue. And the weirdest place you've taken a leak. Oh. Um. Where haven't I taken a leak? <laughs> Uh, one thing I like to do on road trips, which is probably an asshole thing, but like shitty gas stations that you stop, not like the the main, like fancy ones, but like you pull up the interstate and it's just like rinky dink and the doors got like Sharpie all over it. I'll pee in the sink. Starting to heat up. Oh yeah. You'll pee in the sink. Yeah. At the gas station. Well, yeah. But then you wash your hands. I mean, it's kind of like flushing. Uh, I'm a big fan of improving my aim. So if there's anywhere like a <laughs> hole in the ground, yeah, aim for it. Uh, pee in bushes. I like to pee off of stuff. Yeah, stand on your car, pee off of it. Uh, my lips are on fire. This is hot. Yeah, I'm trying not to like breathe too much, swallow too much. Uh, when I was uh, in the military, we went overseas on this Navy boat, and there'd be times when I didn't want to walk all the way across, like, I was like three, four football fields away to go to the bathroom. So I would, all over. I would just find this, like, secluded place and, like, pee behind a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> like, just whatever. This pipe's leaking. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Man. My face is on fire. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, favorite episode or the one you liked looking into the most, like from the Blue Ribbon Lounge <laughs> podcast? Hands down, One Night Seers episode is my favorite episode. Yeah, the most fun doing that. The five, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, that one was fun to do. I also like the um, the one with Whitmarsh. Oh, that one was a really good. One. Uh, what was that? Bluff Skellington. Bluff Skellington. Yeah, it just, it was really good, and we were just figuring out, out the audio at that time, but it was still a good episode. Yeah, I'm glad it was me that got cut off at the end. Uh, I would have been upset if uh, Jason had gotten cut off. Yeah. He was a really good guest. Yeah, we should get him back on, do another, like, spooky Halloween thing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm done. You're done. Yeah. That's, that was the last one. Whew, you did last time. Yeah. Check out the Blue Ribbon Lounge. Uh, dot com. Yeah, shop Abernathy's. Shop Abernathy's. Yeah, 
uh, Blue Ribbon Lounge Moline at gmail.com. Enjoy your day. Yes. Send us a message. Yeah. Like us on all your players. Yeah. And uh, remember, you can always look that up in your Funkin' Wagnall. Yeah. <laughs> Share it with a friend. Be good to yourself. See ya. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm all out of things. I need like water or something. Oh yeah. Let's give you some. <laughs> <laughs>